Gentlemen, the program will begin in approximately five minutes. Please take this time to make your way to your seats and silence your phones.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Michael Cortez III, and I would like to welcome you to the Baltimore County Police Department's 2021 Award Ceremony. For the posting of the colors by our Ceremonial Honor Guard Unit, would you all please stand, remain standing, for the singing of the National Anthem and Pledge of Allegiance by Officer Tim Thulian and the invocation by Rabbi Norman Lowenthal. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we felt at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the peril us fight? Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was to there who said us that star spangled banner yeah, yeah. who the land of the free yeah, and the I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All uniformed personnel, order, on. All uniformed personnel, ready, face.
Gracious and mighty God, we thank you for this day and the blessings that it brings. We pray for wisdom and understanding so that we may recognize your presence in all of the occasions of life, those that seem ordinary and those that are extraordinary. Today, we have gathered to recognize the extraordinary. I lift my eyes up to the mountain from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. In the fearsome and frightening moments that life may bring, whether through pandemic, unrest, tragedy, or cruelty, those in need of salvation will call out to God for help. We know that the Almighty answers their prayers. God works through messengers and chooses those that are worthy to be his emissaries, to act on his behalf, to bring about deliverance, peace, and calm. These very messengers are our heroes this evening. And I do not use the term heroes lightly. In these unusual times, some feel that the term hero has been overused, including those who are recognized for just getting up in the morning and going to work. Perhaps being called a hero has become the new participation trophy. So let us identify the definition of hero. A person noted for feats of courage, of nobility, of purpose, especially one who has risked or sacrificed his life for others. Tonight we recognize real heroes. Police personnel, individuals and groups whose bold and courageous deeds helped to change the outcome in times of unexpected and extraordinary events. Their bravery and love for others were not without personal risk. We acknowledge these special individuals and their actions. In so doing, we express gratitude to you, the guardian, who neither slumbers, slumbers nor sleeps. We pray for your continued guidance and protection, and let us say amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Officer Dullier and Rabbi Lowenthal. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished guests. Please hold your applause until the last guest has been introduced. Melissa R. Hyatt, Chief of the Baltimore County Police Department. John A. Oshevsky, Jr. Baltimore County Executive. Good Drew Vetter, Deputy Administrative Officer. Rabbi Norman Lowenthal, Chaplain, Baltimore County Police Department. Colonel Andre K. Davis, Chief of the Criminal Investigations Bureau. Good Colonel Stephen M. Lavak, Chief of the Professional Standards Bureau. Good Colonel Dennis J. Delp, Chief of the Administrative Support Bureau. Colonel J. C. Landsman, Jr., Chief of the Operations Bureau. Good evening. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished guests. I will now turn the program over to the Chief of the Baltimore County Police Department, Melissa R. Hyatt. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we gather together for the Baltimore County Police Department Annual Awards Ceremony, where we will recognize award recipients from 2019 and 2020. Unfortunately, the pandemic prevented us from gathering last year to recognize our 2020, 2019 award winners, but recognizing them tonight will be just as meaningful, and I am elated to be able to stand here and celebrate them with all of you. For all of our award winners, 2019 and 2020, your collective accomplishments deserve recognition and celebration. This evening is a special opportunity for all of us, including your family, friends, and loved ones that are joining us, either here in person or else online. We're here to celebrate your courage, your commitment, and your sacrifice, and I'm thrilled to be part of that celebration. Tonight, we are also joined by members of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, Maryland State Police, and Baltimore Police Department. In addition to the awards that each of you will be receiving this evening, I want to thank you for your continued partnership and your shared mission with our agency. 
Behind each award that is being presented this evening is a story of heroism and dedication. And while I am fairly certain that most every single one of these award recipients would say that they were just doing their jobs, they were doing more than that. And it's important for us to honor and recognize them for their actions, for going above and beyond, and doing so at what may very well be the most difficult time in this profession that most of us will ever experience. Some of you jeopardized your own personal safety, placing yourselves in danger to protect others. And in many of those cases, you, the people that you safeguarded were complete strangers. You placed your lives in jeopardy for people that you didn't even know. And I am certain that while you did it then, you would do it again and again and again. So thank you for your selfless sacrifice and bravery. Each of you has demonstrated resilience and has served Baltimore County with dignity, respect, and the utmost level of professionalism. I want each one of you to know just how much our residents, visitors, business owners, faith-based community, and so many others appreciate the work that you do. Frequently when I'm at events or out and about, I have people come up to me to thank me for the work you do. They send letters, they send emails. You are all appreciated. The impact that each of you has on, left on the community, and even now, during the challenging times that we're in, you continue to admirably represent our agency, our county, and our profession of law enforcement. To those of you that are being honored here tonight, I am sincerely humbled to be standing up here celebrating this event with you. I'm proud of your hard work and your dedicated service. As I look around and see your family, friends, and loved ones in the audience, I can see the overwhelming pride, well, on the top half of their faces, um, for the hard work that you've done. And I recognize it because they see exactly what I see, that each of you are heroes. On behalf of the entire Baltimore County Police Department, I want to thank you for your service, stay safe out there, and congratulations to each of you. Thank you, Chief Hyatt. I will now turn the program over to the Baltimore County Executive, John A. Obshevsky, Jr. Thank you, Captain, and uh, good evening to all. It is my distinct pleasure to be with you on this occasion. Uh, Chief Hyatt, thank you and to the Executive Command staff for your leadership and for your recognition of the incredible work that's been done these past two years by our honorees tonight. Uh, needless to say, these past two years have been trying for all of us. I think that has been especially true for our first responders. And let me just say that uh, our gratitude and pride in each and every one of you is boundless. And I want to, on behalf of the 854,000 residents of Baltimore County, express my profound gratitude to all of you um, for the work that you've done, for the stories and the events behind your recognitions tonight, for what you have done your entire careers, and for what you will do in the years ahead. We are truly grateful and lucky to have you among our ranks of the Baltimore County Police Department. Um, it's, my, it's my pleasure to be here to recognize you alongside the Chief, uh, Deputy Administrator Vetter, and the command staff um, as we um, come out of this time. Um, so congratulations to all of our recipients, families, thank you for being here. Thank you for your continued support of our, our men and women in the police department. They, have, they do incredible work that often goes unrecognized and that as the chief recognized is among the most difficult times uh, to be in law enforcement. So uh, on behalf again of our residents, you have my profound gratitude and respect um, for well-earned uh, accolades tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Osefsky. We will now present our departmental awards. Throughout their careers, members of the Baltimore County Police Department are eligible to receive awards for extraordinary service provided to our residents. 
Officers are nominated for departmental awards by applications submitted to the awards review board by their supervisors or coworkers. If the nominations meet specific criteria, the awards review board will approve the nomination for presentation to the officers. The awards being presented tonight include the Silver Star, the Commendation, and the Purple Heart. We will also be recognizing two members from other jurisdictions with an emergency service award. Our first group of presentations will be receiving either a Silver Star Award, the second highest award for which any member is eligible, a Purple Heart Award given to those who through personal sacrifice have been injured while performing their duties, or an Emergency Service Award for their efforts in saving a human life. Our first recipients of the Silver Star Purple Heart or Emergency Service Awards are Detective David H. Sweeney, Maryland State Police Detective Sergeant Aaron Hohenstein, and ATF Special Agent Adam St. John. On February 12, 2020, Detective Sweeney and other members of the U.S. Marshals Capital Area Regional Task Force located and attempted to arrest an armed and wanted suspect for attempted murder in which he shot another person in Pennsylvania. Wherever the probable danger ahead, the team proceeded towards the suspect's residence when he suddenly emerged from his apartment and in a matter of a second, pointed a loaded handgun towards police detectives before, before turning to point it directly at Detective Sweeney. Detective Sweeney and others immediately fired their weapons, striking the suspect down. As a result of the gunfire, Detective Sweeney was struck once in the abdomen and once in the leg. Task Force Officers Sergeant Hohenstein and Special Agent St. John rushed to Detective Sweeney's aid even before the armed suspect was secured. Recognizing the seriousness of his injuries, they took the immediate and drastic action to evacuate Detective Sweeney instead of waiting for an ambulance to arrive. While Sergeant Hohenstein rushed Detective Sweeney to the hospital, Special Agent St. John applied a life-saving tourniquet to his critical injury. Detective Sweeney was taken to shock trauma where he underwent multiple surgeries, was hospitalized for many days, and endured months of recovery. The immediate actions taken by both Sergeant Hohenstein and Special Agent St. John saved Detective Sweeney's life and are well documented in a personal letter from Dr. Thomas Scalia of shock trauma. For courage, valor, and bravery demonstrated, and through personal sacrifice for which injuries were sustained during this incident, the Silver Star Award and Purple Heart Award are presented to Detective David H. Sweeney. For initiative and dedication to service, the Emergency Service Award is presented to Maryland State Police Detective Sergeant Aaron Hohenstein and ATF Special Agent Adam St. John. Our next recipient of a Purple Heart Award is Officer Tabitha A. Hayes. On May 2, 2019, Officer Hayes and officers of the Parkville Precinct responded to an urgent call for service of an armed subject threatening the caller with a gun inside of his home. Upon arrival, officers tried to communicate to the caller through the open front door, but were unsuccessful. Concerned that the unknown gunman could still be a threat to the caller, Officer Hayes used sound tactics and judgment as she led a team of officers into the narrow entranceway of the home. Despite her courageous leadership and excellent communication, the caller revealed his true motivation for calling 911 by initiating a suicide by cop incident. He pulled out a concealed revolver and aimed it at the responding officers. In an attempt to protect themselves, officers discharged their weapons and as a result of the gunfire, Officer Hayes was devastatingly struck 
and severely wounded. Officer Hayes remained engaged in the incident until safely evacuated from the home where she began receiving treatment. Officer Hayes narrowly survived her injuries while undergoing multiple surgeries at shock trauma. Through personal sacrifice, for which serious injuries were sustained during this incident, the Purple Heart Award is presented to Officer Tabitha A. Hayes. Our next recipients are Officer Amnit Sahoda and Officer Seth E. Templeton. On December 12, 2020, at 5.48 a.m., Towson Precinct Officers Sahoda and Templeton assisted officers of the Cockingsville Precinct with a call for service for an emotionally distraught male requesting police and medical assistance. Officers discovered that a family friend was having a mental episode and holding the homeowner's two young children at knife point in a locked bedroom. Officer Sahoda arrived equipped with a taser as requested and attempted to negotiate and de-escalate. It was at this time Officer Templeton stopped by on his way home from work to provide backup for the now escalated and critical situation. Officer Templeton provided his baton to Officer Noggle to break a bedroom window in an attempt to have both children escape, but only one was able to get out. Hearing the remaining child's cries for help and knowing his life was still in danger, Officer Sahoda deployed his taser, pinned the subject, and freed the child while Officer Templeton removed the knife from the subject's grip. The rational, brave, and collaborative actions of these officers not only saved the lives of the children and the mentally ill subject, but also the lives of each other. For courage, valor, and bravery demonstrated during this incident, the Silver Star Award is presented to Officer Amnit Sahoda and Officer Seth E. Templeton. Our next group of presentations are for the Commendation Award. The Commendation Award is the third highest departmental award that is awarded to an officer who displays courage and devotion above which is normally required, who displays intelligence during unusual circumstances, demonstrates initiative in solving a crime, or one who under certain circumstances arrests an armed and dangerous person. Our first recipients of the Commendation Award are Officer William L. Cotton IV, Officer Christopher D. Kidwell, and Officer John T. Watnowski, Jr. On September 28, 2019, a flurry of 911 calls describing a mass subject stabbing people at random brought officers to the area of the Hunt Valley Town Center in Cockeysville, where they were confronted with frantic patrons running in every direction. Once spotted, Officers Cotton, Kidwell, and Watnowski attempted to verbally engage the suspect who was clearly wielding a knife but the suspect took off running down the crowded sidewalks. Concerned for the safety of the public rather than their own, the officers began a foot chase across the busy mall roads, yelling to patrons to evacuate the area. A systematic search of the suspect began and he was located in the crowded intersection of Shawan Road. As Officer Bricado neared the subject, he saw that he was armed with a knife and immediately attempted to communicate and de-escalate the situation. The suspect continued making furred movements, ignoring all verbal commands to drop his weapon and began closing in towards five occupied civilian vehicles. In fear of additional attacks, Officer Bricado fired his weapon, striking the suspect and prevented further injury. The quick reactions, effective communication and excellent decision-making skills of these officers enabled the identification and apprehension of the dangerous suspect and protected the lives of countless citizens. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Officer William L. Cotton IV, Officer Christopher D. Kidwell, and Officer John T. Wadnowski, Jr.
Our next recipient is Officer Eric T. Legg. On October 28, 2019, off-duty Officer Legg was conducting personal business at the Bank of America in White Marsh when he was informed that a subject had just robbed the bank by discreetly passing a note to the teller that stated the suspect was armed and would shoot if he did not get what he wanted. Officer Legg, in plain clothes, took immediate action and ran after the possibly armed suspect. Aware of the potential threat, Officer Legg approached the suspect, identified himself as a police officer, and ordered the suspect to the ground at gunpoint where he waited for the arrival of patrol units. Officer Legg's courage and self-sacrifice went above the call of duty in an off-duty capacity. The apprehension effectively put an end to a career criminal who was suspected in a string of armed robberies of 10 banks throughout the Baltimore and DC areas. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Officer Eric T. Legg. Our next recipients are Detective Heidi M. Westfall and Detective Michael J. Westfall. On November 4th, 2019, around 1100 hours, off-duty detectives Michael and Heidi Westfall were traveling northbound on I-83 in their personal vehicle when a light blue Kia minivan with damage to the front bumper passed them at a high rate of speed. Due to the vehicle's erratic driving, the detectives lost sight of the vehicle. Shortly after getting off on exit 4 in Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania, they observed the vehicle and followed it into a Walmart parking lot where they contacted 911. While on the phone with dispatch, they witnessed further suspicious behavior from the driver and additional subjects. Dispatch informed the detectives that the vehicle had been taken in a carjacking days prior. So when the unarmed detectives saw the need to assist the lone Pennsylvania State Trooper that had arrived, they didn't hesitate. That evening, multiple subjects were located and apprehended due to the swift and courageous actions of off-duty detectives Michael and Heidi Westfall. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Detective Heidi M. Westfall and Detective Michael J. Westfall. Our next recipient is Detective Brian T. Hauer. On November 14, 2019, officers of the Wilkins Precinct and detectives from the Criminal Investigations Bureau were dispatched for an armed carjacking and two armed street robberies that had just occurred. While those cases were being investigated, another call was received of an attempted carjacking where the suspect pointed a handgun at the victim. Officers and detectives quickly located the suspect vehicles and a pursuit ensued. The three suspects attempted to flee on foot after a collision with a civilian vehicle, but were quickly apprehended. Based on the property recovered from the suspects, it was discovered that the suspects were involved with at least four additional robberies that occurred in Baltimore City. One of the suspects was armed with a loaded handgun that had been used in a double homicide just hours earlier in Baltimore City, as well as a Baltimore County homicide and several other shooting incidents dating back to 2018. The intelligence and courage these detectives and officers displayed in the apprehension of these three dangerous criminals demonstrates their clear devotion to keeping the citizens of Baltimore County and surrounding areas safe. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Detective Brian T. Power.
Our next group of recipients are Corporal Scott E. Schilling, Detectives Alan B. Abrams, Detective Brendan J. Barton, Detective Douglas M. Koningsberg, and Detective Michael G. Simone. On September 4th, 2020, members of the Warrant Apprehension Task Force were assigned the task of locating a man who was wanted for attempted murder. The suspect was a dangerous and violent individual who had stabbed his ex-girlfriend and threatened to kill her, her children, and her co-workers. The detectives located the suspect in the basement of a vacant row home with no lights and limited accessibility and were immediately confronted with combativeness. The suspect refused to surrender, produced a knife, threatened suicide, and wanted the police to kill him by suicide by cop. Even with the extreme conditions of the basement posing as a threat to their safety, the detectives displayed intelligence and discipline. They worked together to de-escalate the situation with a suspect surrendered, bringing the barricade to a close, all while protecting the sanctity of life. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Corporal Scott E. Schilling, Detective Alan B. Abrams, Detective Brendan J. Barton, Detective Douglas M. Koningsberg, and Detective Michael G. Simone. Our next recipient is Officer Yazuma C. Nandosi. In the early morning hours of July 13, 2020, Towson Precinct Officers Nandosi and Sirio were dispatched to 108 Ware Avenue in reference to a check location after a caller hung up on 911 dispatch where only crying could be heard. Upon arrival, Officers Sirio and Nandosi observed a female standing on the ledge of a 10-story parking garage and immediately hurried in her direction. Officer Nandosi drove to the top of the garage while Officer Sirio quickly ascended the stairwell to the roof and positioned himself in a blind spot. While Officer Nandosi distracted and pleaded with the visibly distressed female, Officer Sirio was able to carefully step onto the tension wires without her knowledge and both officers simultaneously pulled her from the ledge. The quick and heroic actions of these officers is what saved this young woman from ending her life. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Officer Azuma C. Nandosi. Our next recipient is Sergeant Patrick R. Burns. On November 15, 2020, Sergeant Burns was the first emergency responder to arrive at an apartment fire that was reported to have people trapped inside. As heavy smoke billowed from the open vestibule door, he heard a child crying from inside. Without any fire or respiratory protection, Sergeant Burns entered the smoke-filled complex where he located and rescued a five-year-old child. Realizing another human life was in danger, Sergeant Burns again put his life at risk and he went back into the toxic burning building and assisted the grandmother to safety. If it weren't for Sergeant Burns' quick response and life-saving actions, both victims' conditions would have likely been worse or fatal. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Sergeant Patrick R. Burns.
Our next recipient is Officer Dia K. W. Lawrence. On November 30th, 2020, Parkville Precinct Officer Lawrence responded first to a call for service for an armed commercial robbery in progress at a CVS. Recognizing the seriousness of the situation and the danger to customers and store employees, he took immediate action to intervene in the robbery. With multiple armed suspects in unknown locations throughout the store, Officer Lawrence entered through the front door alone and confronted the first suspect who was in close proximity to the terrified customer and store clerk. Suspect at gunpoint, Officer Leisure entered the CVS and assisted with the apprehension of the first suspect who was in possession of a loaded handgun and keys to the getaway vehicle. Officer Lawrence's quick and decisive actions not only prevented any physical harm to the customer and store employees, but delayed the escape plan for the two suspects who fled on foot. Ultimately, all three suspects were arrested and two handguns were recovered with the stolen money and stolen medications. For presented to Officer Dia K. W. Lawrence. Our next recipients are Officer Cody J. Klapka and Officer Niavani J. Grant. On December 22, 2020, assistance from the Towson Precinct was requested to help locate a suicidal juvenile who had just fled the Office of Health and Human Services in an unknown direction. The juvenile was found to have broken into a vacant two-story home and climbed onto the roof. Officer Klapka was the first responding officer and volunteered to climb a ladder into the home to allow entry for the other officers to assist. Officer Klapka and Officer Grant courageously moved onto the angled rooftop and attempted de-escalation techniques, but the young and clearly distraught girl refused their assistance and walked closer to the edge of the roof. Officer Grant continued open dialogue while Officer Klapka positioned himself on the edge of the roof and was able to bring the juvenile in safely. Both officers risked their personal safety and well-being to save this young girl's life. If it weren't for the courageous actions, the outcome of this incident could have ended with grave consequences. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to Officer Cody J. Cla J. Grant. Our next group of recipients are the members of Shift 2 and Shift 3 of Precinct 11 Essex. Representing and accepting the awards on the group's behalf are Precinct 11 members, Lieutenant Jeremy T. Gritz, Sergeant Robert J. Hunter Jr., Corporal Brock W. Robinson, Officer Brandy N. Amer, as it relates to police use of force and defunding the police, so the animosity displayed towards these officers was unmistakable. While the protesters varied greatly in size and hostility, they would often become agitated at the officers on scene who were trying to keep the peace. Throughout this next six months of ongoing demonstrations at this location, the rotating members of Shift 2 and 3 handled approximately 498 calls for service, generated 112 incident reports, and spent an immeasurable amount of time on and off their shift handling the duties associated with this demonstration. Even with the added stress of the COVID pandemic, the national spotlight, and countless hours of verbal abuse, these officers worked together to maintain relative control and handled themselves with restraint, integrity, and professionalism during this turbulent. Officer Brandy N. Amer and Officer Allen L. Hines, Jr.
Representing the team and accepting the award on their behalf are SRT members, Lieutenant Anthony J. DeCara, Sergeant, Sergeant Stephen M. Elling, Michael A. Akerst, Officer Joshua R. Harding, and Officer Robert T. Moxley, Jr. In a typical year, SRT conducts monthly unit training with minimal operational activations. From the very beginning of the COVID-19 state of emergency and in the midst of a global uncertainty, the SRT began to step up their state of readiness. Deputy Incident Commander Captain Conger outlined an aggressive set of objectives with full SRT activation and daily coverage from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. SRT mobilized and improved internal readiness, addressed training and equipment needs, munitions inventory and restock, vehicle resource assignments, trained SROs in PPE, staff tackled these tasks head on and performed exceptionally during the period of March through May of 2020. Just as the SRT was about to be scaled down, a firestorm of anti-police protests broke out nationwide. Due to the recent retraining and retooling, SRT was prepared. By quickly developing and executing response plans for the 100 public demonstrations held in Baltimore County, they preserved the peace, maintained order, protected constitutional rights, and protected demonstrators from threats. For courageous actions and initiative, the Commendation Award is presented to the members of the Special Response Team. Lieutenant Anthony J. DeCara, Sergeant John F. Arnold, Sergeant Stephen M. Ellingsworth, Officer Michael A. Akerst, Officer Joshua R. Harding, and Officer Robert T. Moxley, Jr. Thank you, Chief Hyatt and County Executive Oshevsky. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to personally congratulate all of our award recipients for their outstanding professionalism and courageous actions. I would like to thank the members of the Awards Review Board for volunteering countless hours of their time to ensure that our department members are being recognized appropriately for their extraordinary performance. Almighty God, we have been moved and inspired this evening by the actions and accomplishments of people who by their deeds emulate your ways. Just as you are more merciful and compassionate, so too these individuals and groups provided the needed compassionate and merciful selflessness in times of great need. May their example inspire us all to even greater accomplishments. The heroes we recognize this evening are not just real heroes as defined by the dictionary. They also exemplify Tom Brokaw's timeless definition that heroes are people who rise to the occasion and slip away quietly. As the chief stated, they're just doing their jobs. Our Father in heaven, hear our prayer, guide us, your children, with the blessing that we may be the recipients of your everlasting divine mercy and love. As these proceedings come to a close, we are mindful of and pray for the safety and well-being of all those who may be in harm's way. Whether through calamity or conflict, we pray for them and we pray for us. Provide sustenance and health, grant peace and security. Bless us that we may go from strength to strength in your service and let us say, amen. Thank you, Rabbi Lowenthal. 
Thank you all for joining us this evening and for supporting our department as this reinforces our commitment to serve you and our community. This concludes our ceremony. Peace be careful, Grab home. Have a good evening.